Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Game Plan. My name is Abbas Fazel. We've had some great names come in here and do some interviews. Today we have one of probably the biggest teams here at the Unity Festival 2015. With me, please go ahead and introduce yourself to the camera there. I'm Arif Dirani from Dar es Salaam. I'm the team manager of Union Sports Club. And I believe that Dar es Salaam has the biggest contingent of around 95 to 100 male participants in the Unity Games. Arif, it's fantastic to have you on board. Thank the you. reason I asked you to introduce yourself is because the entity that you have come here with, yes. every sport that is being played at the Unity Festival 2015, yes. you have a participant. Definitely. It's been a privilege to be the manager of uh, this team. I'm even the chairman of the club. Okay. I was elected some two and a half years back. And I decided to take over this task on my own head so that I made sure that every inch of preparation was well taken care of. Well, Arif, that's, that's great that you said that. Let me ask you straight off the bat. We won't uh, cut any corners. What is your game plan? What is your strategy? My strategy is to win. I have come with a very young contingent of footballers. It has never happened in the history of these sports festivals within the Koja community. But this time I've come with three football teams comprising of around 32 members. And the youngest team has members as young as 14 years old. And my dream is to make these boys, groom them to make them the future of tomorrow. And I want Union Sports Club to be represented by these kids in the forthcoming festivals. Now, I love it. Your attitude is, yes, we're here to win and we will bring as much experience, whether it's young, whether it's old, whether it's cricket, all the way to golf. Whatever it takes, you're here to win. Now, obviously, before this Unity Festival, there must have been a setup that you put, probably put together. How was your whole training to get here? Actually, we started training ourselves in the month of Ramadan. Normally in Ramadan, we have a mega sports festival within the community. Nights, and that is when we said no. We want to go to Dubai. We want to go with the best teams possible, with the old and the young. And we said our strategy is to go to Dubai, win every possible thing that we can, with whatever. If it, I'm now 46 years old, but I'm still playing for Union Sports Club A team. So I said, look, age is just a number. It's what how you perform, how dynamic and energetic one is, and how you perform on the on the field. Now. Arif, when it comes down to the win, I know it's a great hope to have here and I'm sure you will achieve what you're looking for. There must be other teams that seem to stand as obstacles yes. for you to go through. That's Who do you think are these teams? Or would you be okay to say well, your rival here at the Unity Festival 2015? Yes, yes, yes. If I'm a volleyball player. So my first opponents that I would definitely think about is Toronto Jaffries and Songhea. Songhea has always been an obstacle to us. We have always reached the finals and most of the times they've defeated us. But that gives me and my team the enthusiasm to participate more and more and to, to face them as, as long as we can play against them. You say Songhea. Now obviously we can't deny the fact that there has been rivalry even between Sungaya and Toronto exactly. and I know Dar has been a team that has said you know what you guys can do your thing we're gonna pass you and we're gonna try to win exactly but history was broken for the first time when our unity Dubai team beat Sungaya in one of the games in love and I'm sure you heard about it yes I did hear about it and I was very proud of the Dubai kids I actually went to congratulate them and I have seen uh, the Dubai volleyball players who came to Tanga in the Africa Federation Sports Festival 2013 and the team that they came with in Tanga and what I saw them play here were two different things. They have transformed themselves probably to be one of the best. If I was to be the adjudicator for the best player of volleyball, I would definitely pick up one of the players from that team, from the Dubai side. So, whence so they had a defeat like this. What did he start telling Dom? Well, we never take things for granted. Songhea is a side that can come back from far and wide. 
and they can gauge the trophy from nowhere. So that's one side that we are definitely watching them. At the moment they are playing against Toronto and we are eagerly waiting for the results of these two teams, what is happening. So that will give us our position, whether we are meeting them in the semi-finals or not. Now, Dar has always been a powerhouse when it comes to volleyball. Exactly. Dar has been a powerhouse when it comes to football. Do you feel that, have, are you still maintaining that powerhouse status when it comes to festivals? Or do you feel maybe sometimes the standards have dropped compared to some of the older teams when people heard Dar, Yes, you probably lose a yes, night's sleep. Yes, yes, yes. I, I will uh, definitely agree with you. The standards have probably dropped, but that is due to change in lifestyles. Things are becoming not what they used to be in the past. Today, probably, we practice only twice a week or sometimes even twice a week because of workload, because of tight schedules here and there. We have not been able to practice every day. But yes, of course, I would still give it 80% that we are still the same what we used to be. We have some great players who have not been able to come with us like Akil Gulamsen. He has been one of the top players in our side. And he was one person who has participated in Dubai sports festivals every time. Wow, Arif, you know one thing? I still remember going to some of the festivals with my dad, who you know, and Dar A. Anybody said Dar A, that means be, watch out, whether it's from the volleyball to the football or, to, cricket. or cricket, it was a team to reckon. Definitely. You have been part of a system for quite a long time. Yes. I know you've been the chairman of the, the sports environment in Dar es Salaam two years. Almost sure that you were a participant before that. Yes. Through all the festivals that Dar has gone through, what are the mistakes do you believe Dar have made in the past that you, as a team manager now, are trying to change, that you don't make the same mistakes? That's a tough one. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, this is my first time as the manager of any contingent. And uh, every time, as I said, that our motto is to win. But in the past, yes, it was that, yes, we are going there to win. But on top of what winning is, I feel that is primary. Secondary is the friends that we make in these festivals. The people that we meet. I never knew you. Small world. You introduce yourself to me and we happen to know each other. And this is something that I treasure the most, is the friendship. Maybe we'll meet again after five years. We never, we never know. That's true. And this is what I probably am trying to impart to my, my young squad of footballers some in the table tennis, some in the indoor games, that most important is how many friends you make and when you go back home is the moments that you cherish of what happened in Dubai. Winning and losing is part of it, yes, everybody wants to win, I want to make my club proud, but the important thing is the friends that we make and definitely we go with some wonderful memories back home. And I totally agree, throughout festivals around the world, one, you make new friends, you meet old friends. And when you walk away from a festival, you seem to create this strong bond that you tend to share. I mean, the next time we meet in a festival, we'll talk about 2015. Right, right. Moving on from there, Dar es Salaam, gigantic community. Very. Yeah. In that, I know there is only so much of a contingent you can bring yes. to a festival. Right. What happens with your selection system? Would you say it's completely fair? Is it based on merit? Is it based on attendance? How do you pick those players? Sometimes, I'm sorry to interrupt, but sometimes what happens is people get onto teams because they know somebody. Do you think this is happening? There is one thing that I have changed. I have made sure that the stars who have not been attending practices who have not shown up for such a long time and they only show up during those times when we want to travel probably to Dubai or Nairobi or Tanga in that case. I have kept them out and I have made sure those who have been attending practices, I have given them the top priority. Those who have been left behind, I requested to add a team and I have brought them as a separate team. But I made sure the top priority was given to those who were attending practices, no matter how good your caliber is. 
But my priority is the attendance in the practice sessions, which encourages the other youths to attend and be part of this festival. So you're taking this merit quite strongly, because I'm sure, Arif, you had no surprise with getting backlash with something like that. Yes, definitely. We have had problems this time in the past, but we try and sort it as amicably as possible. Which is? and sit and sort whatever small small problems that we may come across each other. My motto this time was that I want to take everybody to Dubai with a smiling face. Beautiful. I, I think that's words of wisdom right there. Thank you. Now Arif, as you go along, what do you think the future of Dar Islam is? Or the Dar team is what I want to say. Very bright. We might be having elections in the coming month or two for Union Sports Club. I may vie to come back as the chairman and my dream is to build a more stronger sports community, energetic boys for them to participate in such kind of gatherings and festivals in the future. Now you have Union Sports Club, what's the rival sports club? Uh, actually cricket is not that prominent in Dar Islam anymore, soccer is okay. The rivalry that we have in volleyball, we have one of the top volleyball teams. We, 99% of the times in the local tournaments, we end up in the finals. But there is one Hindu team by the name of Vyamshala. That's right. They have been defeating us for the past eight years. And why is a question I want to ask. Well, those guys are from a different planet, <laughs> I believe. So they're like the Messi's of volleyball. Yes, right? they are the Messi's of volleyball. They are very good.